Good afternoon, everybody. Olav here, and welcome back to Sierra Saturday and Police Quest 1 in pursuit of the Death Angel. So, uh, we need to go, uh, we need to get, hop back in. We, we have taken care of the bikers being parked at, parking outside of, uh, carols and stuff like that. We talked to Marie and t found out about Hoffman or Kaufman or something like that. We also found out about the name Jesse Baines, which was a name that Hoffman wasn't happy that he told us or that he told Marie. Which indicates that it's probably a name that we're going to want to to remember. Dog Park Community College Okay. The Blue Room. Okay, so there's where the Blue Room is. That's good to know, because I think that comes up later. Actually, it might come up pretty soon, because isn't there like a party that Bonds is supposed to go to at the Blue Room? Whoa! You slam on your brakes, barely in time to avoid smashing into the other side of the car. Uh, operated by very DUI driver, traveling about 50 miles an hour down a heavily populated street. Yep, we're, we need to... With caution, so as to not to panic the obviously intoxicated motorist, you urge him slowly over. Okay. Yay! All right. Uh, we're going to save here. Dispatch. Uh... BSO TD1, BMJ Barnum, two previous DUI convictions. Okay. All right, let's look at him. The guy will. The guy in the car rolls down the window, which seems to be a major effort for him. He looks up at you, trying to st hold his head steady. You always find some amusement and disgust in the way hopelessly drunk people try so hard to look straight and nonchalant. Ah, I didn't do nothing wrong, officer. I'm a respectable man. May I see your license, please? My license, license, license? Sure, license. No, that's my gun club card. Here, <laughs> well, here we go. No, wait, that's my library card. Okay, okay here, here, here it is. Wow, so yeah, we're gonna... You decide that this guy is about seven sheets to the wind. A field sobriety test is in order. Please step out of the car, Mr. Barnum. You got it, Officer Pop. Wash your shoes. I'm feeling a little sick. <laughs> yeah. uh. Mr. Barnum, I'm going to conduct a field sobriety test to determine whether or not you are under the influence. I'd like you to stand on a, the line and walk toward me heel to toe. Um, yeah, he is so not sober. Mr. Barnum before says field sobriety test with the grace of a crude oil-coated waterfowl. 
Actually, the waterfowl would have done better. Okay, yeah, you are so under it. You haven't placed a man under arrest. You better come with me, Mr. Barnum. Hey, you may have taken me off. It's a help, help. The man is obviously frightened. You speak in a calm to him calmly and reassuringly. You carefully slip in the Miranda rights between the gentle words. Sir, please step up to the car. Pat him down. Officer, you don't need to cuff me. I'm good. I'm, I swear. All, all, all right, all right. Could you cuff me in front? I'm not feeling so good. Be, be, be a smart, huh? Nope. I'm sorry, but I have to follow departmental regulations. I can't do that voice and that, that type of slurring and stuff without, like, drooling, which is horrible. Come on, Mr. Barnum, let's get in the car. So, yeah, now we need to take, uh, you open the door, truly hope he doesn't upchuck on your upholstery. Dispatch, uh, I'm still on the scene of the DUI. I was going to say, hey, we need to send somebody to pick up the, uh, to pick up this guy's car, but. Now, I'm trying to remember where the, uh, the actual hotel, condos, community college, fast food shop, public library, stores, nuclear power plant, country club, stores and restaurants. Okay, so the jail is down there. Gotcha. So there, that's the jail. There's the precinct. I'm not... I didn't tell you to turn into the precinct. I told you to turn right, not left. Goodness gracious. I don't know why it was like, oh, no, 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 no. You got to take them directly to, you have to take them directly to jail. I, I know I have to take them directly to jail. Yeah, courthouse and then the jail's right next to it. Which again, makes sense. I mean, less, less need for trans, needs, less need for tra transportation and stuff. Okay, so I don't know where the entrance is. There it is. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to save again real quick. Because I actually need to... Okay, buddy. Out now. Out of the car. You're home now. Oh, here, officer. Can do. No problem. I always wanted to co 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 uh, uh, do whatever you say. Please stand over by the door. Sure thing, officer. No, no problem. Just want to cooperate with you to do what you say. So we need to actually also come up in here. And put our gun in there because no firearms in the... Uh, No, I, I didn't, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to, I couldn't tell if it was like, if I had to take a key or something. You press the entry buzzer alerting the guard inside that you wish to enter. Okay, buddy, your new room is waiting. Go on inside. Uh, a nice nap. Please move by the wall and remain still, Mr. Barnum. Yeah, that's a good idea, officer. Maybe to help study this freaking room. Oh. 
Got another fine guest. I uh, got another guest for your fine establishment, Paul. He looks well lubed. He better not speck on my cell, Bonds. You're cleaning up if he does. What's the official violation? Uh, now this is where we need the the um. Uh, the the uh, penal codes, which driving under the influence of intoxicants is a two one six zero three. Driving under the influence of intoxicants just goes to show any crap for brains can get a driver's license. Now, see, he could be. Uh, we could also get him for uh let's see here considered weapons stolen vehicle driver's license not in possession driving suspended license hit and run no failure to stop for a stop sign i do believe he he did run a stop sign didn't he yep he did stop a stop sign uh exceeding the maximum speed limit two six five zero Four. Exceeding the maximum speed limit. Another speed freak, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see here. We could probably get him for reckless driving, too. Reckless, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, evading arrest, not really. But he was uh, not in full command of facilities, of faculties. Not in full control of his faculties, huh? Boy, he's bringing all the Congress in here. So I think that's it as far as what we can book him for. Mr. Barnum, please move to the center of the room so I can remove your cuffs. Okay, you might want to rub the wrist to get the circulation going again. Okay, Mr. Barnum, it's time to weave your way into the cell. Do I need to... Uh, nope, okay, he is... Hey, Sonny, how's it going? How you doing, Paul? Fine, thanks. All right, I do believe that's it. So yeah, generally when you tr when you book them, you want to try and get them for everything possible. Um, all the you know the the driving while intoxicated, driving recklessly, speeding, not in control of all of his faculties, um, all everything we can everything we can get him for. Uh, he wasn't in possession of controlled substance or anything like that, so you know we couldn't really do anything there. Uh, he had a valid license, I think. We might have been able to get him for, uh, for a suspended license, except for his license wasn't suspended. We had, he had it on him. Now, from here, I think it's just go back to the station, isn't it? I think it might be just go back to the station from this point. I'm, I think so. I'm not really sure. Cause I think basically we go on, we go, we, we end our day basically and 1019, repeat your 1019 radio codes. Uh, let's see here. 1019 is return to office. Yep. Yes, sir. All right, so yeah, we're we're go go back to uh, go back to the go back to headquarters. So it's not it's after this next street, this next intersection is where the entryway is. Yeah. Hey, Sonny, you got to see this. Dooley's really got his hands full. I don't know who this gremlin is, but I sure am enjoying the grief he's causing Dooley. Oh, jeez. I'm supposed to see Dooley pronto. 
I gotta take a few pounds off of my hide if I don't get in there. Well, I hope he's got time to see you. He looks busier than a one-legged man in a butt kicking contest. Damn, I cracked myself up. <laughs> a chicken! A chicken! Somebody left a damn chicken on my desk. This is not funny. What kind of person thinks this is funny? Damn that gremlin. Bonds, do you think this is funny? Do you? You better not have done this, Bonds. I'll have your head on a platter if you did. Do you understand me? Well, I, I'm sorry, boss. I didn't quite catch that. Is <laughs> don't do that! No, no, my paperwork. You stupid chicken! I'm wringing someone's neck for this. Bonds, what are you looking at? Your shift is over, isn't it? Get your sorry butt out of here! Right now, Bonds! Now! I I can't. You're not letting me walk. Now, now, now! Whoo! Yeah, boy, I bet Dooley's really pissed. You're not kidding. He's mad enough to lay an egg himself. Hey, don't forget Jack's little surprise party. We'll see you at the blue room after you change out of your blues. Right. But that is going to have to wait until next week because we are all out of time for this particular week. Uh, we've, we made our first arrest. Yay. We actually got to use the, the tickets, uh, the 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 uh the codes and everything so awesome as always thank you guys very much for watching and don't forget to put the subscribe button down below so that you can stay tuned for more from olav productions if you want to see some crazy Here we go. Lazy, you should meet me and my friends or i'll or your what? Damn, Goldilocks! If, uh, uh, granted, I wouldn't say put it in a kitchen. An eraser does not belong in a kitchen, period.